So we got the A and B drives done. And now we're going to move on to the front idlers, which is on page 84 of the manual. And for this section, you're going to need the printed parts for the idlers, bearings, shims, and M335s. We're going to insert this screw, and we're going to flip it upside down in order to build the stack. I'll go ahead and prep both of these with the M35s. These are just going to go right in there, and then you're going to simply flip them over. Go ahead and take one washer. We're going to do the wide on the bottom, wide on the top, and another washer on top of that. And that's one. Then we're going to repeat for the other one. Got washer, wide bearing on the bottom, wide on the top, and then a washer on top. Okay, and now we're going to take the larger piece and just made it. And then we're going to flip that. And that one's done. And same one, same process here. We're going to take the shorter piece and made it like that. And you just want to try to keep the screw in there from coming out because you don't want to lose your stack. Okay, before we mount our front idlers, we're going to preload some m3 nuts in this channel here right on the inside front left um, i am not going to use the no drop nut mod here because these are for the magnetic class and they're very tight tolerant so this is one place where you do not want to use those the only downside to that of course is these are going to be rolling around until um, you get those pieces installed but that's okay so kind of what they're meant to do so just go ahead and drop them in there all right, so we've got all those in there, and no worries, I can move them all easily. And when I install those that piece later, I'll be flipping it on its side. So I'm going to be installing the B idler first, which is the, the one with the bigger bottom. And in order to do that, I'm going to move this. There's a couple of things I'm going to do. I'm going to screw in the, the screw with the idler into this extrusion, and I'm going to slide this nut forward a little bit because I'm also going to eventually have to get a screw through there. And you are going to need an M35 screw, so we'll go ahead and insert that now. Okay, and just slide that in there. And before you screw these both down, just make sure you, you eyeball them up. I'm going to slide this nut down a little bit further. And maybe a little bit more. Okay, that looks good. And now you should be able to go ahead and sync them. I would start with this front one here. Doesn't really matter. Okay, that one's in. I'll go ahead and sync the other one. And feels pretty good. Yep, okay, those guys are in. And now we're just going to repeat for this other corner. Okay, I've got this part lined up. The preload and nuts. I'm going to go ahead and get this uh, tightened up. Alright. A little bit more here. Alright. And those are done. Okay, just remember the idlers are on the same side as their drives. So this would be the B idler. And it should match up with the top belts that are going to be run here with these bearings. So you can see that we're good there. Same thing on this side. This is for the lower belts on the A idler. And that looks good, nice and lined up. If you did it the other way, then you've got it backwards. Another good way to check would be just to look here at the top. So this should be going to the uh, kind of angled out that way, and this should be angled out that way. So front left, front right, B, and A. Okay, now's a good time to insert these little locking pieces for the top hat if you want once you tighten everything up. So just go ahead and put them in like that. All right, on page 94 of the manual, we're gonna be doing some preloading of nuts, three each on these channels. And these are gonna be for the panels. Okay, so I've loaded them, th I flipped over the machine and I've loaded three uh, M3 nuts here and three here. These will be used for the panels. And now I'm gonna do the same for these channels here. 
as well as this outside channel. Okay, so I've got nuts loaded here, here, and here, three each. And you can see here, I've got them here, three here, three here, and three here. Okay, and if you just want to check, you should have three, three, and three on this side and the other side, which I do. And we're just checking the back, so we should have two here, one here in the middle, three here, and then we should we could have four here. Uh, we've got three, but I'm going to add another one because there's an optional nut that you can use for the spool holder. And I've got that extra nut in there now, so I've got four. Now I'm good to go. And don't forget to double check the panel, the nuts for the magnetic latch, which are my four here are loose. There should be four of them. Now I'm page 101 or so. And it is time to do the feet. Um, there are three actual feet and then this piece as well, which uh, serves as one of the feet. And it's also where the power inlet sits. So basically we're going to take our heat inserts and we're going to put them in the appropriate spot. We'll go ahead and sink that. Okay. There's also one here on the side. Right. And for these, they're all going to go in these center holes here. And one of these is going to require another heat insert, and there's only one that has it like this. And that one's this guy right here. This is the one where the Bowden tube is going to run through the foot. At this point, we just need to get an M3 by 10 screw, put it through the foot, and then it's gonna go right into the heat insert. All right, nice and snug. To install the feet, you're gonna need some M340s. You need four of those, and you should just be able to drop that down, and it's gonna go right into the extrusion. Now, if you do that uh, first one, you should have some M3 preloaded nuts here. And you're gonna to wanna to scoot those over so that you can line them up and install them. And you're gonna use M310s to secure those. And here's another angle. You can see the M310 goes in right here. And here it is all installed. Okay, next I'm gonna do this one for the M340 screw. Uh, you've also got the Bowden hole on this. So that's so your Bowden tube can go up through here and feed your tool head. Okay, all these feet need M310s. Need installed it into the heat insert. This isn't super clear in the instructions, but it's just like the one that we did for the inlet. So go ahead and install that. Should be nice and snug. After you do that, you're going to use an M340. This is the Bowden one that I've got here. So the Bowden one goes in the back. And pay attention because they're all they all are pretty similar, but the one with the hole is in the back. Put your screw in here, let it feed through, eye it up into the corner, and then just go ahead and set it in. Okay, that one's done, and then we're just going to repeat that for these other two. Okay, I've got this one. Make sure they're nice and snug. You don't want those rotating around. And I've got the front corner ones installed now. Now there's just a few accent pieces that we can add on here. Okay, these are all pretty much the same. M2 10 millimeter self tapping for these are just going to go right into the plastic. Okay, so there's the first one in. And the nice thing is you still have access to tighten this up if you need to. And then we'll go ahead and do the second one. And then just repeat that on all four corners. You can see I've got all four accents on now. I think it looks pretty good.